this country kitchen and today I have had some requests for some hamburger steak and gravy and um, we are all about some comfort food up in our house so I'm gonna put this together real quick and show you uh, how I do mine um, I'm gonna start off with some hamburger meat of course you gotta have that and um, I have two types of onions here I've got some chopped onion I'm gonna put in my hamburger meat then I've got some sliced onion that I'm gonna make in my gravy um, and I do those uh, big slices so if somebody don't like onions they can just easily pick it out and we won't worry about the one that's hidden in the hamburger um, I've got my little season here I've got um, a teaspoon of onion powder garlic powder some uh, paprika some um, <clears throat> salt of course and pepper and um, a little bit of basil and I'm going to be using some um, Worcestershire sauce and some soy sauce so I'm going to get busy putting that together and I do have a little egg um, I put an egg in mine just to help keep it all together I know a lot of people do breadcrumbs and all kind of stuff but uh, that's not what I'm going to be doing today We'll get this mixed up. I'm just going to do away with this fork. I've got some gloves on, so I'm going to just do it with my hands, which works out better for me. All right. We're going to start with a little seasoning. I've already pre-seasoned, and I'm just going to sprinkle this in. I've got a little chopped onions here. Just a little bit of that. And that's about two tablespoons of onions. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon of uh, Worcestershire and soy as well. And I'm just gonna mix that up real good. Then we're gonna start forming our uh, little patties that we're gonna fry. Now I'm just gonna lightly brown the patties um, in the frying pan. Then I'm gonna take them out. We're gonna make the gravy and then we'll put them back in and just um, let them get happy. All right got this mixed up now I'm gonna make my little patties go and get my plate here I'm gonna make my patties up and you can make them any size you want to you can do little tiny patties um, I'm just gonna do mine the size of a, of a small hamburger and uh, Sometimes the smaller you make them, the easier they are to cook. So, we'll get these made up. And then I'm going to get them in the pan and we're going to start frying them up. All right, y'all, got my patties made up and uh, my skillet hot and it's ready to start putting them in there. And my uh, little patties may not be all uniform, but they're still going to be just as good. And see if we can get them all in this pan. Scoot him over a little bit. Let's pick this up. I think it's going to work out. Now we're really just going to be browning these for a couple minutes on each side, but uh, we'll just put these down a little bit. Won't take too long. I've added a little bit more pepper on top, of course. Cooked them pretty quick. Sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> we used to eat these growing up um, back when hamburger was actually uh, really cheap. Now hamburger is uh, not quite as cheap as it used to be. We need to grow our own cows at this point. This is always an easy stuffer that I could just whip up for the kids as well. Doesn't take long, so it's a nice and easy dinner for the for a weekday. 
You can also, instead of just doing this in the pan, I, I browned it and just let it cook in the crock pot or put it in the oven. It works good either way, but I'm just going to show you the easy, uh, just a one pan kind of deal. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it, see where we're at. Oh, yeah. It's looking right. We just want to brown it just a little bit. We're just going to go back in that gravy and cook until it's done. We're going to drain some of that grease off after uh, it's done. All right, y'all, I've got it browned. Um, this is how it's going to look. I tell you, uh, this hamburger's got a lot of fat in it. I'm surprised it don't look like little sausage balls after all that grease come out. They've definitely smoked a little bit. All right, we're just gonna stick them in there and I've got to drain all this grease because Lord knows our arteries don't need all this. All right. Okay, I'm gonna drain this little grease and um, I'll be right back to make the gravy. All right, y'all, you can see that I left just a little bit of the little uh, goodness on the bottom of the pan here. And I'm just gonna add some butter. I don't know if you've seen the country fried steak and gravy. Um, this is how I always start out um, my gravy for the most part. Now I have got about three tablespoons of flour here. Now it's your choice. You can actually use um, some cream of mushroom in this. But um, if you want to make your own gravy, this is, this is how we're going to do it today. I'm going to go ahead and um, add the sliced onions in here and my mushrooms. Everybody doesn't like mushrooms in theirs, but we certainly do. I'm going to get this in here, get it cooking a little bit, a little tender before I put my flour and my seasoning in. Get that going. I might add just a little bit more butter for um, the, for the gravy before I put that flour in there. But you want to uh, get that flour cooked down so it doesn't have that flour taste to it. A little bit more butter. I've used about four tablespoons of butter in here. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this flour in here. And the longer you cook the flour, um, the browner your gravy will be. You just keep cooking that flour down until you it's the color that you want your gravy. All right. And it looks like it's going to be really dry, but I'm going to add some beef broth to that in just a minute. Because we're going to let these onions and... Um, mushrooms cook down. We'll go ahead and add some beef broth. I'm going to add about a cup, two cups right now. Alright. You can see it's already starting to thicken up. Now the gravy is good just like it is, but I do like to add um, one of the beefy onion packets to it. It just gives it such a good flavor. And um, it's so easy to just add it in there. This is what I'm using, the beefy onion, Lipton onion powder. I put this stuff, it's like the hot sauce, I put it on everything. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in there. And that's gonna also help with that pretty golden color of your gravy. Now I got no lumps in there. We worked the lumps out. And now I'm just going to let this, this onion and mushroom cook down and get real tender before I put this hamburger meat back in. So I'm just going to let that cook down and give that a minute. All right, we got this cooking up. It's getting really thick. And I'm going to add a little bit more beef broth in here. 
loosen it up a little bit. Now you can use water. You don't have to use beef broth. I just like the flavor. Now I'm going to add those uh, hamburger patties back into it and let them cook down with it. There we go. I like uh, cooking one pot meals. You have less dishes <laughs> to worry about. But this is just going to cook down in here until these hamburger patties are nice and done and they're going to be tender and it's going to be delicious. I've already got my mashed potatoes made and then we're just waiting on this hamburger steak and gravy. All right. It's about ready. These onions and little mushrooms have gotten really tender. The hamburger's tender. The gravy has thickened up. One little tip if your gravy is too runny, you can add a little bit more uh, flour into it to thicken it up, but you don't want to just dump flour. Um, you want to mix it with a little cold water if you need it so you don't have any lumps. Or you can add a little cornstarch. Um, I didn't have to add anything to this one but um it's all ready to go so i'm gonna get my potatoes ready to take this off the stove and get our plate ready to have a little taste all right y'all we've got the finished product here i'm just gonna put this on some mashed potatoes and we're gonna get russell in here to give it a little taste for us I'm gonna add just a little bit of black pepper because that's how he likes his. Sprinkle on top. All right, Russell. Come on, get in here and give this a little taste. Hey, <laughs> y'all. Hey, Daniel. <laughs> Cracks her up every time. Every time. Yeah. Man, it looks delicious. Yet again. One of your favorites. Yeah, yeah. One of your favorites. Now we have this about what? Once, once a once, week? Mm -mm, once every couple of weeks? Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Yep. <clears throat> I like hamburger steak, y'all. Which ain't yeah. much she cooks. I don't like it, to be honest. There ain't a whole lot. Ain't, ain't a whole lot. Anyway, we're going to give it a try and make sure it's safe, y'all. <laughs> it's hot. It it's is hot. Are hot. This is not the main attraction, it's the taters, but the, the fork was stuck in the potatoes, so that's where we're going to start. I like the potatoes. I love potatoes. Wee! That gravy's kicking. I love potatoes. They're right on point. Oh, it's tender. Good and tender. Hey, Y'all, look at that. Ooh, wee! Big old steaming piece of hamburger. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. It's delicious. All right. That's all right. All right. Y'all make that for your man, he'd be happy. Yeah. Fat like me. And another thing about this, um, if you have a big family, you can actually make little smaller uh, hamburger balls, almost like meatballs. You can do this. You can also do it over noodles, egg noodles. Um, rice. Rice. Yep. We do it on rice all the time. Mm -hmm. And the milk gravy on it. Yep. Instead of brown mm -hmm. gravy. Mix it yep. up. Yep. We mix it up. Do it all kind of ways. Make it your own, as I said so many times. But um, if you're trying to stretch the meals uh, you can like I said you can make smaller portions and make it go a lot further and gravy is pretty cheap so um, and you could have added cream of mushroom or whatever but uh, you can do it cheap with some flour um, I just wanted to show you how easy it is and I hope you try it however she did it right that, that time look here mmm He's a little biased. I'm a lot biased, but hey, I'm telling the truth. I, I'm all I'm doing telling the truth. I wanted to say thank y'all for um, everybody that has subscribed. And, yeah, hit um, that button. If you ain't subscribed yes. yet, hit that button. Hit that uh, thumb. Thank you for yeah. putting up. Turn the bell me. on. Turn the bell on. That way when she has one come out, it'll tell you it's coming. It'll let you know. It'll let you know. But I do thank y'all for watching and subscribing. And um, giving me some ideas because I have been getting uh, some ideas on what to cook next. So we're not gonna run out of stuff to cook, y'all. I'm no. gonna make sure that don't happen. We got plenty of stuff on the plate, y'all. 
see us cook, eat. But if you've requested something, just hang on. It's coming. Um, I've just got a lot more things um, that was requested pretty early. So just want to say thank you.